Hey y'all, what's going on? So I just wanted to, while I had this open, show y'all what the inside of these uh, eco tank printers look like. So here's your tanks. Uh, the tanks, uh, of course, they fill with ink. Then they go get sucked through the ink, get sucked through these tubes into these dampers, which kind of act like cartridges. And then they feed the nozzle down there uh, with ink. Um, so here's one of the tanks. They're really flat. And if you look at them, they look really similar to cartridges. So there's a series, like there's a series of chambers in this cartridge, there's a series of chambers in these ink tanks. So the ink uh, comes into the fill, fill, uh, fill hole, travels down this tube here, or these two tubes here. Other side, uh, those two tubes uh, release into this big chamber down here. So once that chamber fills up, back over here, it fills these chambers up over here, and then that ink gets sucked out of here every time you print, and then it goes through the tubes into the dampers onto the print head. Um, you shouldn't turn these upside down. If you say you want to change your ink out, I've seen uh, people, they'll take the printer and flip it upside down and uh, thinking that the ink's going to come out. But most of your ink is going to sit here and pool because it can't go up the same tubes that it came down. These two tubes, most of your ink can't flow all the way up these tubes to come out. So the best way would be to suck it out through this, uh, through this hole here. Uh, the same uh, outlet that these tubes are connected to to feed the dampers. So you would take a syringe with a piece of hose on it. Like so, and then you would just kind of aspirate this and pull the ink out from this port here. And that would be the best way to do it. And you don't have to open it up like this. You just have to open up the top. Open up the top of your uh, your carriage here. And then you can take this off of the damper and then pull your syringe in there and pull up the ink from there. So that's just a quicker way to do it. Don't ever, you never want to turn your printer upside down, dude, and risk flooding uh, the inside of your printer with your waste ink from your maintenance box. So just a heads up, man, you, um, you know, Take that information and do with it what you want. If you want to flip your printer upside down, go ahead. I just recommend that you don't. So I've taken this printer apart so you don't have to. Thanks.